Welcome to bread making at Bray House here in Aberfeldy. Um, I use Aberfeldy um, granary flour, which is absolutely delicious. And it's made in my wonderful Panasonic bread making machine, which is, um, I think it's the SD2500 for those that want to know. Um, so first of all, you put in just under a teaspoon of dried yeast, which goes into the pot here. Then you measure out 400 grams of the granary flour. Uh, I'll just change on my scale so it looks like. Um, there we go. So 400, 400 grams of flour goes into here. So that's the flour. Um, then I add to that um, a teaspoon of salt. Which goes in there. Oops, teaspoon of salt. Now you can also add a teaspoon of sugar, but I don't because I don't think it needs it. And it's absolutely fine without it. And then also add to that um, a tablespoon of oil, or you can use butter, any sort of oil actually, as well as butter. That goes in there like that. And then the final ingredient is um, 280 mils of water, which goes in, like so. And then you put it in said machine. right menu. Um, now the other interesting thing about this, how this all began, the, the bread making malarkey at Bray House, was the fact that Jim and I, um, one Christmas, went to stay in Collinsey about six or so years ago. And um, I'm just going to start this. When we arrived, so I put, sorry, press start and then it takes five hours to cook. So you can do it either overnight, so it's very nice and warm in the morning, or do it the night before, which is what I normally do, because if you do it um, through the night, if you don't have enough time for it to cool down in the morning for breakfast, it's really hard to cut and it goes all sort of a bit of a mess really, so it's better to have it cooled. So yeah, so going back about the story how it all began, it was about six years ago when Jim and I um, went on holiday to Collinsey at Christmas, which was a bit wild, uh, but it was fabulous and um, when we arrived at the, the self-catering cottage, we walked in and there's this wonderful aroma of bread cooking, we were like, wow, that's amazing. And so we spent a week there and um, lived on bread, basically, because Jim was really taken with the machine. So we had loaf after loaf after loaf of bread, which was fabulous. But it was just the, the, amazing, was just the thing of walking in to a holiday let and this wonderful aroma of cooking bread. It was amazing. And in fact, so much so, very dear friends of ours who then went into self-catering themselves just around the corner, they too took the idea. So when they had guests to stay in their self-catering, they'd have their bread machine on. So when you walked in, you had this fantastic aroma. And that's really how it came about, because Jim said, oh, well, we've got to get a bread machine. Got to I think it'd be great for the B&B. &B. So, you know, never look back. And when I'm busy, I must do, I'd probably make a loaf every other day, really. And uh, it also makes very nice white loaf. The loaf I've just put in has been made with granary flour, but you can also use wholemeal flour, white, and it may also makes a fantastic brioche. And there are lots of other recipes within that you get with the machine. You can make all sorts of things. You can even make a cake in it, which I've never tried. Um, and the other thing that I use it for, which is for our breakfast, is compote. It makes a fantastic compote. I just bung in um, blueberries. In fact, you can use any food you like, but my basic is plums and blueberries. You just bung it all in and you put it on the slow cook number, which is 25. And in an hour, you have this delicious compote. You don't have to worry about it burning on the stove and going dry. Well, and it's just fabulous. So it's quite versatile, really. And you can be quite creative in using it. One of the most hilarious reviews we had for, for Bray House was the fact that the Bray, Bray House loaf was to die for, which I felt was probably a step too far myself, but there you go. <laughs> so that's Bray House for you.